northwest at 10 miles per hour and we'll get a new update. We are getting updates every hour from the National Hurricane Center to see if it has weakened at all. It just has not. Yes, it came down from 150 to 130, which is great news, but the fact that it's over land and it still has 130 mile per hour winds, that's pretty substantial. Pressure has not uh, has not come up really much either. 938 millibars moving again north northwest at 10 miles per hour, and it is forecast to basically track anywhere from Baton Rouge to about Hammond. That's where the center the eye would track. So it could still wobble more to the west, could wobble a little to the east, but you check this out. It's not even expected to be north of 10 and 12 until after midnight. So this is moving very slowly. And yes, we were expecting it to slow down a good bit and kind of pump the brakes a, a good bit as it makes that turn to the north because it was moving northwest, but now it is moving north northwest and it's roughly 60 miles southeast of Baton Rouge. So if you do the math, it may not be here for another five to six hours. It's likely a little closer by then, but we are hearing reports of wind gust over 100 miles per hour close to Jefferson and and Orleans Parish right now. Uh, so we are seeing again those hurricane force winds still and it's moving inland. But another reason why it just hasn't rapidly weakened because it's been moving over water still. Essentially the bayous and the marshy area, it's not solid land. If it made landfall, say in Texas, you have solid land there, so it would weaken. In this case, our Louisiana coastline, as we know, is very marshy, at least southeast Louisiana, and so it hasn't weakened all too much. So here's a look at the live Viper radar. Again, you can see a very distinct eye on our radar, and keep in mind the radar sites in Slidell, and so even with a very distinct eye, yes, that's still concerning because this eye is coming very close to New Orleans, and so with these eyes and cores of hurricanes, you have the most intense winds in that uh, northern eye wall, northeastern quadrant as well. So you can see flash flood warnings are in effect all the way from about uh, close to Ascension Parish into St. Charles Parish. And again, seeing that very distinct eye moving to the north, northwest, likely going to possibly move directly over Laplace in St. Charles Parish. And, it, and remember, St. Charles Parish has that uh, or had that mandatory evacuation. And this is exactly why. Again, you have Lake Maurepas as well. You have Lake Pontchartrain. We're seeing reports of flooding in Laplace along Lake Pontchartrain. So I-55 between Maurepas and uh, Lake Pontchartrain is going to be inundated with storm surge because again, all that water has to go somewhere. And again, we're likely going to have some pretty strong winds, if not over 100 miles per hour sustained, move into Laplace, Lutcher, coming, you can see the eyes just east of Thibodeau, but likely still seeing some very intense winds in Thibodeau. Hurricane force winds, at least as of uh, the four o'clock advisory, were extending about 45 miles from the center. Her, uh, tropical storm force winds over 130 miles from the center. And so again, you see there's the eye, there's Kenner, and then Hanville in this area, you have Laplace, Letcher, Donaldsonville, still to the northwest of the eye, but it's going to continue to move to the north, northwest. And if it continues that trend, that's why the National Hurricane Center is expecting it to track like so, possibly hitting Walker straight on. You could get hit with the core of this storm or anywhere between Baton Rouge and Hammond. So even if it moved toward Denham Springs and Walker, Baton Rouge were likely going to have some hurricane force winds if it does not weaken all too much. You saw in the forecast path, it's only north of I-10 and 12 to be a Cat 1 hurricane. So it is going to weaken, but even by the time it reaches our area, likely still going to be a cat three or a cat two. So you guys need a plan for that and get ready to hunker down because the winds have been picking up. Uh, looking at some of the reporters, you can see the winds are starting to pick up and the National Hurricane Center still gives Baton Rouge and the Baton Rouge Metro anywhere from about 40 to 60% chance for uh, feeling hurricane force winds. It gets much higher the farther east you go, and that includes Livingston Parish and Walker, even portions of St. Helena Parish, and then I'll, I'll show you right here. So 
uh, in Tangibahoe Parish, especially southern Tangibahoe Parish, almost a 100% chance of feeling hurricane force winds be, uh, based on the current path if it just comes up and basically parallels I-55. So the next couple hours, I would say past midnight are going to be rough for our area, well past midnight if it continues to move roughly about 10 miles per hour. And again, the heaviest of rain has been setting up just east of the center, east and far east from the center. So again, with winds picking up, expect widespread power outages. Basically, I would say just to the east of Lafayette, closer toward the Atchafalaya Basin, all the way even to the North Shore, expect widespread power outages. Keep in mind we have that extreme wind warning in effect until 630. So we'll see if the National Weather Service will go ahead and either extend that or expand it in coverage. And the exact reason why I told you guys that we are seeing reports of winds over 115 miles per hour, and this is why we have that extreme wind warning in effect, and that includes the New Orleans viewing area more so, but it still includes St. James Parish and then uh, St. John the Baptist Parish, uh, St. Charles Parish, and uh, Jefferson Parish, Lafouche, uh, Terrebonne Parish as well. And this is because you could, again, have winds over 115 miles per hour, and that's for several hours on end. So that is extensive, catastrophic damage when that happens. So when we talk about a tornado warning, we say uh, stay in place for X amount of time, usually 30, maybe 30 to 45 minutes, maybe an hour. This is over one hour to up to three hours long and, and that's just constant so that's why you want to treat this as such as if it's a giant tornado essentially moving over i don't want you to think of it that way but i do want you to think it that way because of the kind of damage it can cause so again that's why you want to put as many walls between you and the outside as possible we're not sure if it's going to move more to the north or not, so we'll be in touch with the National Weather Service to uh, keep you guys up to date on that. Sustained winds right now, you see Homa, Morgan City, Thibodeau, we don't have any reports there. Sustained winds at the, at the airport right now in New Orleans, 56 miles per hour. Baton Rouge, 24 miles per hour with gusts, 71 miles per hour, check that out. New Orleans Airport, 83 miles per hour wind gust. Baton Rouge, we have a tropical storm force wind gust, but you can see that red color, likely seeing some higher gust in between Baton Rouge and Morgan City. Do you have anything? Yeah, just the latest advisory, just want to update. Oh, you guys. perfect. Uh, not a complete advisory, but latest update. Uh, still a category four hurricane, 130 what? mile per hour sustained winds with gusts up to uh, about 160. Uh, moving uh, north northwest at about 10 miles per hour, so still? no change there. Okay. Uh, and the pressure is still the same. Still wow. 938 millibars for you folks with your oh, barometers wait. at home, 27.7. Uh, 125. Same, we're down to 125. That's interesting. So did not update. So this may not have updated here. Let me just make sure. Yes, there we go. No, it, right. it just updated. It just okay, updated. pressure did come up did just come up. about three millibars. So, so we are category three storm now. But a strong category no, strong three category storm. Strong category three, uh, located about five miles east of Homa. Okay. And moving off uh, to the north northwest at ten. For some reason, that didn't pop in. But five mile an hour difference, you're not going to see gonna tremendous amount yeah. of damage difference. Right. Uh, but again, signs that we are starting to see that weakening trend. Mm -hmm. It's very slow, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, at least we're down to 125, which is better than 150 that right. we saw only about six hours ago when Ida yeah. made landfall. We've been doing this for six hours mm -hmm. now. 25 uh, mile per hour. And, and the pressures come up, what, uh, 11 millibars? Yes, so not slow weakening. A very slow decrease in intensity. Uh -huh. Uh, let's hope that continues. And mm -hmm. like we are mentioning, the, the, the track now going to be a bit further to the east of Baton Rouge. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean Baton Rouge is good. It just means that we are not going to see the strongest winds here. Those just strongest east. winds likely to be about midway between uh, here and Hammond. and Hammond over to I-55. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think uh, there might be a, a small location called Walker I yes. had mentioned earlier. Uh -huh. So basically from Walker, Eastward, we'll say uh, Livingston Parish, yes. and eastward over toward Hammond. That's where the strongest winds are going to be. And of course, 
uh, east all the way to uh, uh, I-59. And, and we have a lot of viewers that tune in from Montpelier, and so that would be possibly right over Montpelier mm -hmm. and Walker if it were to stay on this exact path. So the core of the storm could be going over you with some of the strongest winds near that area all the way to I-55. Right, and again, don't focus on this line. Yeah, absolutely not. Uh, because hurricane force winds still extend westward about 20 miles and eastward about 40 miles. Okay. And what this uh, cone is, mm -hmm. a lot of folks like to call this the cone of uncertainty. Yes. I, I like to call it the cone of highest probabilities. There you uh, go. So, uh, you know, at least at this point, it looks like the storm is staying right in the middle of that forecast that we had a little bit mm -hmm. earlier. Uh, which is better news for Baton Rouge. Right. It doesn't mean things are going to be perfect here. No. Uh, right. It just means we're certainly not going to see the strongest winds. But still, hurricane force winds are going to be possible, mm -hmm. uh, at least in gusts, a little right. bit later on. And it exactly, and you see 1 a.m. Monday. So it's still going to take, if it continues to move 10 miles per hour, we're talking maybe not till 10, 11 o'clock or so that it moves near the I 12 corridor. Right. So uh, certainly keep your guard up, mm -hmm. uh, hope for the best, but always keep preparing for the worst, uh, at least in Baton Rouge for folks further off to the east, prepare for the worst because yes. at this point it looks like the strongest part, the, the, the core of Ida is going to be uh, having a bigger impact from let's say extreme eastern East Baton Rouge Parish and over to Livingston Parish and over toward Hammond and areas up to I-59. We'll keep an eye on it and we'll have more updates coming up. Let's send it back to